there's a lot of hikers, campers, everyone's kind of relaxing. Uh, a couple different pools here, so I'm trying to figure out which one to go to. Uh, but even though they say no camping, <laughs> a lot of people are camping here. This year was an exception. What's up, man? Walk across the bungee line. So, I just spent an hour down by the hot springs. Uh, I was in one of the pools. There's, I think, three or four of them, but mine was great. Uh, it was really warm, and it was right next to the river. So, whenever I got too hot, I would just jump in the river. The river water is ice cold. <laughs> so, uh, it felt great. Um, the vibe down here is really interesting. <laughs> uh, a lot of hikers. There's a lot of hikers uh, who are doing the Pacific Crest Trail hike. Uh, I just talked to somebody who's hiking, or he's on his route from Mexico, or he started in Mexico, and he's hiking all the way up to Canada. So, um, but really cool people, interesting people. A lot of hikers. They say no camping down here, but I don't know. Everyone's camping. So, but anyways, uh, I think the next time I come here, I might want to try to stay longer because I heard or what I was told is this place gets a little more interesting <laughs> by midday. Anyways, uh, I'm making my way back up now. Um, we'll see how that mountain is, how steep it is. I'll give you an update soon. Another shot of Deep Creek Hot Springs as I leave. Again, it's getting a little bit more crowded because it's like 9.30. More people are starting to make their way. So, I got through the most difficult part, which was the steep hill. Yeah, it was hard. <laughs> uh, but anyways, 
I just finished that and I'm making my way back. If you can get an idea. I don't know if you can tell how steep it is, but that's a mile down. All right, update coming soon. Making my way back, some familiar sights that I hit on the way here. Now I'm seeing them all the way uh, on the way back. Finally made it back. Here is the gate that I came through to start the hike. Whew. What a hike, especially the last mile. Wow. All right, last update coming soon. Deep Creek Hot Springs, amazing. Uh, I had a great time. Next time when I come here though, I wanna spend more time at the actual hot springs and the river. Uh, that was my favorite park. The hike uh, was wonderful. Uh, great time, uh, which is in the springtime to go there. Uh, very visible, there's a, light, a lot of hikes I go on. I can't even follow the trail. This one was great all the way. Uh, at the end though, <laughs> it gets a little bit steep. Um, it's not a problem for me going down. The problem was actually going back up. I did lose a lot of energy and it took me quite a bit of time to get back. But all in all, it was great. Uh, I don't know if this would be a hike or a place for kids. Uh, again, clothing is optional, although most people were clothed today. So, but you never know. Uh, the people were really friendly. Uh, <laughs> apparently, like I was telling you earlier, uh, I left at a time where it was just going to get started. Uh, but apparently, uh, there's big parties that happen there in the middle of the day and then they go on into the evening. Uh, I met a couple hikers uh, who were doing the Pacific Crest Trail. Some of them told me they were doing, you know, up to 300 miles and they're still going to go and their goal is to get to Canada. So it's an interesting spot. It's an interesting spot for the hot springs. Uh, the water was really hot and really warm. I've never been in a hot spring like that before. Um, but it's also an interesting spot just for the location, how it kind of is right in the middle, uh, or it's on the Pacific Crest Trail, and, and it's an important stop uh, on the Pacific Crest Trail, uh, and a lot of people meet there. Anyways, uh, until the next time, uh, I will see you on the next highway experience. Bye-bye.